y'all. About to go live real quick. Good morning, happy Father's Day. For the happy Father's Day to all my fathers. Um, I will be convening with my daughter later on for brunch. But uh, I got business to handle also. So 9 a.m. Synergy breakfast with Fred Mason seeing, uh, following up the event you guys seen me at a couple days ago, the leadership uh, conference for the AFL. And um, so Fred and I have been texting and figuring out how we can link up and see what synergy lies on the table or is between us in regards to the union and their initiatives and YMC and JMA and my initiatives and how we can help each other and how we can most importantly empower the people power the community so uh that's it i'm about to hop out in a minute but we've got a couple seconds before we start it's a nice uh nice day let's see how we get out of here so we always handling business man you gotta be very intentional about what you want to do like whatever it is you can't use father's day and holidays for excuses and all the other kind of stuff. Not if you really want to get what you came for. If you want to get what you came for, there's no excuses, just results. So, just putting work in. That's how you gotta be on the ground. That might be him bumping some oldies music. <laughs> Are we going here? Um, water side joint. And I gotta figure out how to get there. I think this one. Greatest of all time. Hey, I feel good though. Well rested. Great day in Baltimore yesterday. Family first cookout was a success. The Toyota uh, Teen Summit was also a success. Very empowering. And it's just cool to be able to. Just um, live a life where I'm following God's purpose and plan for me instead of my own plan I tried that it didn't work too well uh, where's the waterside restaurant though I wonder which one is the waterside restaurant mm -hmm. excuse me you know where the waterside restaurant is the waterside restaurant is there a restaurant called the waterside restaurant here you heard of it? Okay. Let me see. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll text him. I don't. He's at Waterside Restaurant. I gotta see which one I guess. All right. So it's one of these Waterside restaurants. I'll figure it out. Hmm. Could be this one. Bistro. Like a breakfast spot to me. Uh. We'll see. But anyway, um, I'll chime in a little later once we start our meeting. But I just always want to leave you guys with some bit of, I guess, game or knowledge. And um, at least in watching me, I want you to get value out of this for real. And that's just like always following up. So like, I do a lot of organizing. I do a lot of it on my own. I'm mean, gonna have a team behind me, but. As I'm building something so new, I have to make a lot of the personal contacts myself. And, um, oh, hold on, I think the guy said he's, oh, in the Sheridan, right? I think that's it, thank you. Appreciate you. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, so there we go. I think about it, I found it now. I think I might have found it. Oh, now I gotta go park again. Shoot, what time is it? 8.50, ah, I'll park over there. Yeah, I'll park over there, that's up, man. Greatest of all time, but yeah, so, even though I meet a lot of people in a hell of different states, and I'm not a, you know, I'm not a politician, I'm not a political organizer or anything like that. Just a young man, young businessman. But, oh, thank you. 
Oh, uh, somebody said happy Father's Day. I appreciate it. But yeah, so organizing, community organizing is, is, is new to me to some degree. I mean, I've been leading people is not, and making a lot of noise is not new to me. But literally organizing people on a mass level and getting them all on the same page is very new to me. Um, but I like it. I enjoy it. It's a challenge. You have to get past people's fears, people's egos, people's posture, their personal agendas, um, and be able to, you know, inspire enough within their heart and their spirit to um, want to work together, collaborate, work with me, believe in my vision. So there's. <laughs> Right. See you inside. Look, all right, I'm on here already. <laughs> I see you inside. Coincidence <laughs> of that. That's how when I, when I see coincidences like that, they're all cosigns to me. That means that I'm doing the right thing at the right time. So for me to be just at the other restaurant, and as soon as I'm pulling around, here's Fred walking. Um, you know, for me, that's just a cosign that you know I'm in the right spot, right time. And to be on Periscope while we're doing it, while I'm telling you about, you know, the meeting. And now, pow, here's the guy I'm meeting with. The king I'm meeting with, so. Let me park right here. That's cool. Actually, let me park somewhere where there's, like, not so many cars around me. I'd rather walk, I'd rather walk further and my car be safe <laughs> than be lazy and be in this tight spot. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just sent me some pink hearts. I appreciate it. Ain't nothing like a good pink heart. Uh. All righty. Got it. Yeah, man, we handle business always. Always, always, always on my grind. And I don't even think about money. That's the crazy part. I just think about accomplishment, agenda. Like, the money always gonna come. Especially when you know what I know. Whew. Let's go to breakfast with Fred. See what he has to talk about. And I'm not even that familiar, I mean, I've been doing my research, but I'm not even that familiar with unions like labor unions and trade unions and hospitality unions and teachers unions and I mean, I've never, you know, held that kind of job, really any kind of job, but so I'm just not that familiar, but I understand that the unions do have a lot of, uh, you know, have a lot of following. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Penny, thank you. Need that in my life. 99 more and I got a buck. 100 of those and I got a C note. But yeah, so uh, I know unions have a lot of influence, a lot of following, a lot of organization. I really want to pick his brain on organizing. If you could be the president of a of all these unions, as the AFL is like kind of like I guess an uh, umbrella of all the unions. I mean, he has to be a pretty good organizer. So I definitely want some mentorship or some advice in regards to that. But uh, hopefully that could be a value add for him and his mission with us, our, my following. Hopefully we can add value to his agenda. And there's a win-win situation. And everybody's happy. What's up, brother? Good morning, good morning. Oh, All right. Peace, King. Good morning. Right. Happy Father's Day to you. Yeah, thank you. So how long will we take you to get here? Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't staying too far out. That's about what it took me about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a nice little ride. Mm -hmm. I've, I've stayed here before, a couple times actually. Mm -hmm. uh, many trips to Maryland. Okay, this is actually it. Some of the staff here, union staff. Oh, some, some, some union staff? Oh, yeah. oh cool. Hello. Uh, Cool. Here's a little view. <laughs> it's okay. It's cool. Can I sit on this side? Do you want? Yeah, right. All right. Okay. I hate my back to the door. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what you want to eat? <sighs> I don't know. I'll probably eat light. Yeah, me a little too. light. Yeah. Yeah. So I say menu probably and just get something. So how you feeling? Great event the other night? Yeah, man. It was nice. It was, it was nice. It was always, uh, always a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of fun with that. It was. Now, I see. You seem like you're having a fun. Yeah. Like you're like a kid in the candy store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, traffic was horrendous Friday. Coming in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, particularly from Baltimore. Right. And, uh, so a couple of the people, my assistants, were late. Oh. Uh, and, uh. Can I some coffee? Uh. I think I have some, um. Uh, I might have coffee, I don't know yet. Ice water with uh, lemon. Sure. Me too, please. Hi. Lemon and lime if you have lime as well? Sure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so when I got there, uh. A couple of things that happened. The books weren't there. <laughs> oh, right. So, so all the advertising, you know, all the sponsors and, 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 and agenda. So that wasn't there. And uh, so my um, assistant wasn't there with the list, with the seating and stuff. That's not good either. <laughs> but I always prepare for that. So I had. Uh, a seat. I didn't have the same kind of seat that she did. Oh, I had the seat where everybody was supposed to go. So gotcha. I was able to round up, up a couple of people. Make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. What can't go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that so, was good. So how long have you been president of? Uh, 2001. Wow. Yeah. So you got tenure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This may be my uh, the four year terms. Okay. Uh, so my term is up in uh, 2017. Gotcha. And um, 68 years old. So I uh, figure I have a lot more uh, yesterdays than I have tomorrow. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm going to live to be at least 130. As right? you should, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was telling somebody that uh, the other day because. Um, my Time Magazine had an article about a month ago saying uh, the people that were born today could live to be 150. So I was telling somebody, hey, I'm claiming 130. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they said, but Fred, that's for people that um, are born now, not people that were born 60. Right. Yeah, I said, hey, I I'm claim. taking all 20 years. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. 150, that's a long time. Yeah. Shoot. How you doing, Miss Sharif? <laughs> Thank you. Let's get back with you guys in a little bit. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you.